Watoto bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This is Sunday school week and in the Sunday school we are very happy because we are learning very good things. Our theme comes from the story of the prodigal son. The prodigal son. son. And today we are taking you through the story of the prodigal son and through this story we are being taken by our teachers here, you know very well. From that side, we have teacher Judy. Teacher Judy, give him a clap. Then we have teacher, teacher Helen. Teacher Helen, good. Then we have teacher Wama. Teacher Wama, oh, good. And on my far right hand, we have teacher Carlo. Teacher Carlo, very good. And I'm teacher Pascal. We are very happy to host you and to share with you the story of the prodigal. Son. Son. And then the son that we said that he, he defied his own father and he disobeyed because he came to his father and asked for the wealth that he belongs to him. And he was given all the wealth that he did what? He wanted, isn't it? Yes. yes. When he was given his wealth, what did he do? Yes. Yes, a favor. Where did he use that wealth? Yeah, he went, yes? He went up to a far country. Very good. He went to a, up to a very far country and used this with, it with his what? Friends. Friends, yes, very good. And so now, after he used all that wealth, I would like to teach our mother to give us the story of what happened in that far country and what transpired, isn't it? Yes. yes. So when the prodigal son went into this far country, he used his money on all the wrong reasons. Cindy, yes. we saw that in the Bible, yes? yes? So he used the money to drink, he used it uh, aimlessly without any purpose or reason. Cindy, mm -hmm. so when he was done, he decided to come back to the Father. He decided to come back to the Father. Okay, Teacher Helen will continue from there. As you can remember in that story, when the prodigal son went back to the father, do you remember what happened? Yes. What happened? Yes. Nyambu? When he came back, the father saw him for that far. Mm -hmm. When the father saw him, he came to him and he asked for a little bit of money. Very good. Can you clap for Nyambu? Yes, after, after the, the son came back, this, the father welcomed him, he put on a nice robe on him and slaughtered a very large cow for him. Senor. And then what do we learn from that, Judy? This, from that story, we can see a son who disobeyed his father and we can see a father who forgave the son and we see a father who loves the son despite what he did. And that just describes the love that God has for us all. Sometimes we do things that are wrong. And what does God do when we repent? When we go and we say we are sorry, what does God do, innocent? God forgives us. Yes, God forgives us. So God loves us so much because we are his children. And when we repent, he forgives us. What other thing can we say from the story, teacher Carol? Okay, from the story... We also learned that we should respect our parents because that boy, that son, he was told by the father that I will not give you your, the inheritance. But he, he keeps on insisting, insisting, insisting. So we learned that we should, repair, we should obey our parents. Yes. And also you should respect them. When your father tells you, wait, you should learn how to wait. wait. Yes, you should not keep on insisting when you tell your dad, Dad give me this, and then the dad say, you wait, and then you keep on insisting, insisting. We should learn how to wait. Yes, and as we wait, that shows us we are respecting our parents. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Jesus loves me, very, very wonderful. Jesus loves me, very, very wonderful. Jesus loves me, very, very wonderful. So wonderful love, so high that you can't get over it, so low that you can't get under it, so wide that
that you can't get around it. So wonderful love. Jesus loves me. This I know. All the Bible tells me so. Let's give Jesus a big clap because of his big love. Big word. Love. So you have learned that we should learn to obey our parents. We should also, we should also do what? Wait. You should do what? Wait. wait. When our parents say we wait, we do what? We wait. We wait. And then we should not listen to the friends who are misleading us, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So what do we tell our teachers today? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Bye. 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 God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Feva Baraka Montori, and I'm going to recite you the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6 to 11. And it says, Do this because you belong to a Lord God. He chose you out of all other people to be his own special people. The Lord did not love you and choose you because you outnumbered other people. The Lord loved you and daughter to keep the promise that he made to your ancestors. And that is why he used his great might to set you free from slavery to the king of Egypt. Remember that your Lord God is the only God and that he, he will continue to have faith. He will continue to show his constant love throughout from to thousands of generations. But the Lord will not hesitate to punish those who hate him. Do what you have been taught. Obey all the laws that I have given you today. Thank you. Bye.